Throne and Liberty is actually launching in Korea. They got rid of all of the uh, astral hunting, which was the autoplay. There is no more autoplay in the game at all. They've but changed the way leveling works. They have redone all of the combat. They have changed fucking everything. And we're going to see exactly what they've got to show for it. December 12th is not today. 안녕하세요. TL 캠프 PD 안종욱입니다. 여러분은 지금 스로 앤 리버티의 세상에 도착하셨습니다. 이 세상은 크고 유기적으로 연결돼 있으며 as I said before, uh, the world of the game looked great. Like, if this game came out in West, I would be like, okay, I'll play it. Sure. Absolutely, I'd want to play it. When does it come out in the West? Because I'm not going to play in Korea. I don't want to play in Korea. I think it's next year. Yeah. Uh, because didn't Amazon delay Blue Protocol for this to release this year, and it just ended up not happening? Infinite what? Oh, there's the whale. Can you shoot him? PC 로 구현한 MMO의 세상. 우리 월드를 한마디로 표현하는 문장입니다. TL이 생각하는 PC MMORPG는 uh, Throne Liberty believes that PC MMORPG shouldn't be a world with a set story. Okay, so they don't they they didn't invest a lot of money into voice acting or cinematics. 해진 스토리가 아닌 자신만의 이야기를 만들어 갈수 있는 자율성의 공간입니다. Okay. 우리는 TL의 플레이어들이 숙제처럼 우리의 세상을 복습하기보다 so 스스로 무한의 이야기를 창조해내길 기대하고 있습니다. Okay. By the way, my opinion on that is that I think that um I think that you should have like a, a narrative for the the world, but like I don't I don't think like the, the player should be able to create their own. Like, I don't like it in Retail WoW. Like, you can make the player being the main character of the story really good because, like, Final Fantasy does that. But that's not really what I prefer. I prefer to where you can create your own narrative. Like, I am very much a soft RPer, if that makes sense. Where, like, I don't really roleplay as if I'm the character, but the character is, like, the representation of me inside of the game. Just type on the we said 그래서 play. 우리가 월드에 구현하고자 했던 Very 것은 visibility. 변칙성입니다. TL의 날씨는 그저 That's 연출적인 visible. 요소가 아니라 플레이에 직간접적인 okay. 영향을 끼칩니다. Yeah, the weather effects are really cool. 예를 들면 이런 식입니다. 적진과 대치한 상황을 가정해 보겠습니다. 일반적인 형태라면 진입로에서 격전이 mm -hmm. 벌어지겠지만. 만약 비가 온다면 우리는 rain? 새로운 지형을 통해 우회 전략 And you can change the weather I believe. There's like some sort of like way to do that. 그걸 펼칠 수 있습니다. 혹은 바람이 강하게 분다면 비행거리 증가를 이용해 I think it's silly that everybody can turn into a bird. 높은 지형에서 침투할 수도 있습니다. 고지대의 우위를 점해 원거리 위주로 전투를 유리하게 풀어내는 방법도 있죠. It's hard to find your advantage by engaging in 일식이 일어났을 때 by the way, can you play Warcraft Rumble on PC? 네, 우리는 몸을 숨기고 적진 한 가운데까지 잠입하는 기회를 얻을지도 모릅니다. 자신이 마주한 월드의 모습에 따라 전혀 다른 플레이를 선택할 수 있는 겁니다. Based on the world, okay. 더 나아가 월드의 원리에 통달한 유저는 직접 환경을 조종해 전투를 유리하게 만들기도 합니다.즉, 변칙성을 응용하는 것을 넘어. 스스로 월드의 변수 okay, 그 자체가 cool. 될수 있는 거죠. That's awesome. 꼭 누군가와 다투고 싸우지 않더라도 TL의 세상 속에서는 예상치 못한 인카운터 well, 상황이 well, 발생하기도 well, 합니다. What's the red 갑작스러운 thing? 시공의 균열 속에서 보물을 집어들 수도 있고 곤란에 처한 누군가를 돕거나 어느 성벽에 부서진 I think what they really need to show is more of the combat because like the combat looked really good and then we actually saw the gameplay of the combat and it was awful. 대기에서 날아다니는 고래를 좋아할 수도 있죠. That's what I want to see. 운이 좋다면 고래 등에 올라타 이 아름다운 월드를 넉넉히 바라볼 수도 있습니다. Oh, that's pretty badass. 바다 건너 미지의 땅에 여러분을 내려줄지도 모릅니다. 
Yeah, that is really cool. I like that. 기후와 시간의 변화는 월드를 즐기는 또 다른 재미가 되기도 합니다. 우리는 날씨에 따라 변화하는 식생을 mm-hmm. 관찰할 수도 있습니다. 밤의 끝에서 마주하는 아침의 시작을 감상할 수도 있죠. Yeah, this is one thing that New World does really well is that the game just looks really good. Just it is visually very appealing to look at. 퀘스트의 경로를 벗어나게 만드는 낭만 어린 변수들입니다. So about looking good. It, 물론 it, but, but it matters. 가득한 월드에도 it definitely matters. 규칙은 필요합니다. 월드의 시간은 규칙적인 이벤트의 배열로 빼곡히 정돈되어 Regular 있습니다. Okay. 한 지역 전체를 무대로 펼쳐지는 사냥 대회인 지역 이벤트. Okay. 그리고 특수한 재료 아이템을 드랍하는 지역 보스는 규칙적인 스케줄 so 안에 like 발생하며 이벤트에 대한 정보는 모두에게 공평하게 okay. 전파됩니다. 두 시간의 낮과 30분의 밤으로 구성된 게임 속 하루는 실생활의 24시간 순환과 완전히 분리되기 때문에 플레이어가 mm-hmm. 항상 같은 시간대에 접속하더라도 늘 다른 게임 속 sure. 환경을 마주하게 합니다. 플레이어의 응용을 유도하는 Everything here you could say about BDO. This is basically BDO. 변칙성 그리고 플레이어의 계획을 가능케 하는 규칙성 규칙 안에서 변칙이 일어날 때 생기는 생동감이 바로 우리 음. 월드의 특징입니다. I will say that like again, visually I think the game looks great. This looks awesome. I would play this. Uh-huh. 이렇게 보면 제 캐릭터의 직업이 전사나 기사라 생각하실 수도 있겠지만 TL에서는 클래스가 없이 모든 무기를 자유자재로 사용할 수 So is it kind of like New World where like the weapon you use is like based off of what you're doing? Seems like a weapons. Yeah, I don't know what this is. 수 있습니다. 어떤 스탯을 올려도 무기 공격력은 동일하게 상승하기에 부담이 없습니다. 내가 어떤 무기를 장착하는지에 따라 캐릭터는 검사에서 마법사, 궁수, 도적까지 자유롭게 변하게 됩니다. 우리는 캐릭터의 역할에 한계를 두고 싶지 so 않아. Like basically, it, 습니다 플레이어들이 여러 무기를 사용하면서 본인의 yeah. 스타일을 찾아가길 like 바랍니다. 자, 그럼 장검을 들고 필드로 나가 보겠습니다. Okay. This is what fucking matters right here. If the combat sucks, the game sucks. Here we go. It all comes down to this. 멀리 있는 적을 끌어오거나 밀쳐낼 수도 있습니다. 유틸성이 강한 스킬 배합입니다. 하지만 아직 사냥터에 비해 유지력 okay. 면에서 부족함이 느껴지네요. 이럴 땐 이렇게 마법봉으로 교체해 저에게 힐을 주겠습니다. 한결 편한 사냥이 가능해졌죠. 이것이 클래스 시스템에 이어 TL 전투의 핵심 무기 조합입니다. TL에서는 두 개의 무기를 동시에 We haven't seen him move around while attacking. That makes me very concerned. 장착할 수 있으며 각 무기별 스킬 발현에 전혀 딜레이가 없습니다. 즉, 어떤 무기를 조합하느냐에 따라 자신만의 컨비네이션을 만들어낼 수 있죠. 예를 들어 보죠. PVP 상황에서 내가 우위를 점했더니 상대방이 도망가려 하는군요. 이럴 땐 장궁의 속박으로 적의 도주를 막. You see what I'm saying? Like every combat thing is just them showing the player standing still executing a rotation. 고 단일 딜이 강한 양손 검으로 마무리하는 그림이 나올 수도 있습니다. 상대하기 까다로운 적을 만났다면 지팡이의 순간 이동을 사용해서 거리를 벌린 후에 단검의 비수 날리기로 적의 이동 속도를 저하시키는 것도 방법입니다. TL의 고유 전투 시스템은 각자 분명한 컨셉을 가지고 있는 일곱 가지 무기가 있기에 빛을 발합니다. So yeah, it's basically going to be like kind of like New World in a way. 자신과 아군을 보호하고 적들의 공격을 유도하는 탱커. Wait, what was that? 
방패로 자신과 아군을 보호하고 적들의 공격을 유도하는 탱커, 장검 그리고 방패. 강력한 한방과 기동성 좋은 이동기로 타격감이 살아있는 근거리. I think like it's obviously going to be like you know sword and shield, big sword, arrows, a bow, you know daggers. Maybe like a staff for fighting, like, you know, it's obviously a mage stuff. Yeah, I mean, come on. I get it. 은신과 이동 스킬로 상대를 고란하며 상태 이상 공격에 능한 킬러. 단검과 이동 스킬로 상태 이상 공격에 능한 킬러. So like, again, that's like a good example, right? 양손 검. So like, watch. So like, as soon as he actually begins combat, his character stops moving. 상태 이상 공격에 능한 킬러. You see what I'm saying? Like he runs up to him and then he begins combat and he stops moving. 최고의 속으로 유틸성이 높은 원거리 딜러. 석궁. 초장거리 공격으로 안정적인 딜링이 가능한 장구. That looked pretty good. Okay. All right. She moved. There's the movement. 초장거리 공격으로 안정적인 딜링이 가능한 장구. And it shows that you can also cast abilities and not just auto attacks while moving. However, what does it look like for melee? 다수의 적에게 강력한 폭딜을 구사하는 마법 딜러 지팡이 mm -hmm. 아군이 전투에서 오랜 시간 버틸 수 있도록 돕는 That's 서포터 cool. 마법봉과 마력서 이런 무기의 특성을 조합해 이론상 21개의 복자적인 클래스를 만들 수 있고 스킬 간 연계를 통해 자신의 okay. 전투 메커니즘을 직접 디자인하는 재미를 느끼게 합니다 I mean, I think like yeah, there's theoretically 21, but like it's the same thing like in New World where a lot of people, yeah, this is this is decent, yeah, this is actually good. Um, a lot of like most people in New World play like probably a handful of different builds. It's not like you see a lot of people using Great Sword Ice Gauntlet, for example. 이해가 깊은 분들이라면 눈치 채셨겠지만 클래스 시스템과 무기 조합은. 모두 여러 right, 무기를 사용하는 cool. 걸 유도하기 위한 목적입니다. 상황에 따라 무기와 조합을 갖추면 okay. 갖출수록 전투에서 우위를 차지할 수 있습니다. 필연적으로 무기 성장에 있어 플레이어의 보충이 생길 수 있습니다. Okay. 이런 문제를 해결하기 위해 우리는 안전한 강화 시스템을 well. 마련했습니다. Okay, so is this honing instead of BDO? Safe enchant system. This implies that they're talking about it in the context of BDO. 여러분은 성장하기 위해 무기와 스킬을 강화해야 하지만 여러분은 Okay, so these are the this is the weapon uh, damage. Um 30%. So there is some form of it basically has honing. How does this work? 성장하기 위해 무기와 스킬을 강화해야 하지만 Well, actually maybe not because this percentage moved up. I think actually this this percentage refers to like this circle and not a percentage of it occurring. Yeah, they're like stages. 그 과정에서 실패란 개념은 없습니다. 모든 강화는 하지만 You must enchant your weapons, but there will be no such thing as failure. 그 과정에서 실패란 개념은 없습니다. All enchantments are cumulative, and the weapon will never drop, nor will result cause your weapon to break. 강화는 누적되며 강화 수치가 하락하거나 파손되는 경우는 존재하지 않습니다. 여기에 무기의 교체와 교환이 자유롭게 발생할 수 있도록 동일 등급 장비의 강화 레벨을 그대로 이전할 수 있는. Oh wow! So you can just like swap it over from like one weapon to another. I mean, I, I, am I like the only person? I think like you know, if you can do this, like, why not just let it to where like the first two weapons that you upgrade, or three or four, it just upgrades all of them. Because like I, I, I don't know. That's the first thing I think of whenever I see a system like this. Because like if if all it takes is is one like button, a click, just to do that, then why not just make it a universal level or like a universal like proficiency, rather than applied to the weapon in the first place. I don't know. System is capturing it. Avoids redundancy. Player's weapon growth is reduced. Not worried about weapon growth. The content is matched. You can choose any weapon. Again, standing still. Oh, there it is. She moved a little bit. Yes. 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 Yes.
여러분은 TL에서 일반적인 MMORPG에 탱커, 딜러, 딜러 포메이션을 취할 수 있습니다. 하지만 그보다 더 많은 전략적 포메이션을 만들어낼 수도 있죠. TL에서만큼은 한순간에 탱커에서 딜러로, 딜러에서 힐러로 변신이 가능하기 때문입니다. 플레이 중 파티의 위기가 왔을 때 탱커와 힐러로 조합을 변경할 수 있습니다. 빠른 돌파가 필요하다면 딜링 위주로 재편할 수도 있겠죠. 이런 파티 플레이의 정수를 느낄 수 있는 장소는 던전입니다. TL의 필드에는 더 막강한 적과 더 막대한 보상을 만날 수 있는 던전이... So I'm curious if they have, like, because they've shown this before, and I'm curious if they have anything besides just the... The outdoor dungeons. Do they have instance dungeons or not? Because this one looked like it was an outdoor dungeon. Field dungeon seems like outdoor ones. Look at this. This is really cool. This is awesome. Yeah, look at this. You just go in there. That's badass. 즉, 저 레벨이라 할지라도 던전 플레이를 즐기는 데 제한은 없습니다. 던전을 탐험하는 데 필요한 건 레벨보다 동료입니다. 모든 던전은 혼자만의 힘으로 돌파할 수 없으며 파티원들의 서포트가 있어야만 원하는 바를 이룰 수 있습니다. I mean, this is that's pretty cool. I mean, it's it. I mean, by the way, it's, that's basically a chimera from Final Fantasy. But hey, I don't give a fuck. 어쩌면 오픈형 던전에 큰 감흥이 없는 분들도 있을지 모르겠습니다. 제한적인 상황과 단기적인 목표 성취 때문에 던전 플레이를 즐기는 분들도 많기 때문입니다. 그런 분들에겐 파티. Okay, so they do have instance dungeons. Yeah, I just don't think you can make challenging content without limiting the amount of players that are in the area. Like you have to have instances for content to be hard. 인스턴스 던전을 보내드리고 싶습니다. 최정의 파티가 리트의 리트를 거듭하며 던전마다 제각각인 기믹을 공략해 나가는 MMORPG만의 협동 콘텐츠 재미를 10분 느끼실 수 있을 겁니다. 우리가 던전의 기획과 배치에 대해 고심한 이유가 바로 이것 때문입니다. MMORPG의 관계는 경쟁과 협동이 어우러진 드라마입니다. 우리는 여러분의 플레이가 심화될수록 더욱 더 많은 사람들이 모이고 연대하고 떠들게 되길 기대했습니다. Well, you have to have like social environments for the game and like places where people get together and interact with each other. That's one thing that like a lot of MMOs don't do a very good job at. Like Classic WoW is great at this. Retail WoW is awful at this. Is that you have to have like open spaces. Like New World is actually kind of good at this now, where like everybody's in the town and you have open voice chat and people are seeing each other. It is super important in an MMO to see a lot of other players. It is just that simple. 그리고 마침내는 파티를 넘어 더 거대하고 위대한 커뮤니티가 만들어지기를 꿈꿨습니다. This is nice. 길드는 TL이 꿈꾸는 협동 콘텐츠의 최종 진화 형태입니다. 여러분이 TL의 세상에 적응하기 위해서 길드는 필수적인 요소가 될 것입니다. 길드원의 모든 플레이 결과는 길드 전체의 베네핏으로 치환되며 Oh, this is nice. So like people are encouraged to make large guilds. I remember in Cataclysm, everybody was encouraged to make really big guilds. And I think it's an overall positive to have like a, a, bunch, of, a bunch of members in a guild all playing together, even if it's not like a serious guild. I think it's still better than people playing solo without a guild. 길드의 성장과 개인의 성장은 선순환 구조를 이룹니다. 길드가 성장하면 그만큼 개인의 성장을 촉진시키는 콘텐츠들이 오픈됩니다. 그 대표적인 예가 길드 레이드입니다. 그 대표적인 예가 길드 레이드입니다. There. Okay, so these are the different bosses that you can fight, and I guess these are the levels of the bosses, and these are too hard for the current raid, probably because 
you need to be at least probably level 33 to enter or 34 to enter i'm guessing and that's the loot that can drop that's cool okay oh guild level okay Okay. Okay. I wonder how laggy this is going to be. That's the one thing I think about. It's like, yeah, how laggy is this going to actually be? Not very? Yeah, we'll see. This seems pretty good. Look at this. Yeah, it's not fucked up hardly at all. 지금껏 경험하지 못한 공성전을 선보이기 위해 많은 도전들이 있었습니다. Okay. 그 결과 TL의 공성전은 기존과 달리 단순한 백병전이 아닌 전략 싸움의 형태를 띱니다. Cracking 골렘의 존재와 다양한 진입로, 환경의 변화 등이 TL의 공성전을 더욱 더 역동적으로 만듭니다. Okay, cool. 공성전이 끝났다고 해서 아직 전쟁이 끝난 것은 아닙니다. 어쩌면 공성전보다 더 치열한 전쟁, 세금 수선이 있으니까요. 공성전에 승리한 길드는 골렘을 소환해 각 마을에서 모인 세금을 옮겨야 합니다. Oh, it's like a caravan system. I get it. So you need to defend the caravan so people can't break into them. 길드들은 당연히 그 세금을 빼앗기 위해 모이게 되죠. Alright。Oh,that's really cool。Okay, who is it? 아크보스를 공략하기 위해선 공성전에 투입되는 그 이상의 플레이어 간 협력이 필요합니다. 하지만 방심할 순 없습니다. 아크보스를 잡는 그 순간에도 길드들은 서로를 노리고 있습니다. 공동의 적을 함께 노리면서도 동시에 서로를 견제해야 하는 긴장감이 So you can actually like attack people while somebody is doing the combat. Well, that's very interesting. I wonder what's going to happen. Yeah, I could feel that would be like super annoying. I don't know what it's gonna have, what this is gonna be, man. Yeah, maximum griefing. Yeah. Like in classic WoW, um, the world boss coalition I was in used to do countdowns where they would like say the person's name whenever they said something in like general chat, and they would do a countdown, and whenever there was like five, four, three, two, one, report, and then everybody would report the same person at the same time. And then the person would get suspended, and you would see them running back to the boss, and then their character stop running and just running in place, and then just disappear. And then they come back, and they're like, Why can't I join my raid anymore? So yeah, I don't know, man. I, I always worry about this kind of stuff. This looks really cool, though. 여기까지 듣는다면... 길드를 위해선 PVP 스트레스를 견뎌야 하는가 고민이 되실 수도 있습니다. 물론 대다수 길드 컨텐츠는 PVP를 염두에 두고 디자인됐지만 우리는 플레이의 성향에 따라 길드의 성격이 달라질 수 있길 바랬습니다. 여러분이 평화적인 플레이를 희망하고 그런 사람들과 플레이하길 원한다면 Yeah, my understanding is that like some zones, this is what they said before, is that like some zones, like they're dynamic, right? So sometimes they're PvP zones, sometimes they're not. 굳이 적대 길드를 만들지 않고 길드와 함께 지역 이벤트에 참여하고 사냥 퀘스트를 수행하는 것만으로도 충분히 성장을 체감할 수 있을 것입니다. I think this is like one of the uh, like aesthetic things that like uh, you look at like Log Horizon, or you look at Overlord, 
where you have people that are in like effectively the guild and they are like there's some people that are like combat oriented and some people that are more like life skill oriented in those games and i think it just makes sense in general in a fantasy setting that there's people that are more combat oriented and people that are less combat oriented so i hope the guilds don't have like a very low cap and you can have very large guilds that can support like different groups of players so it's not just like you have to have like a new world for example the company size is very restrictive so you can't have a ton of people in your company which means that the only people that can be in a company are like these super serious players 이동만으로 재미를 느낄 수 있는 월드와 조작할 만한 가치가 있는 전투 alliances, yeah. 그리고 모두가 함께 할때 빛을 발하는 플레이가 PC MMORPG TL의 모습입니다. This is nice. TL은 런칭 때두 개의 지역이 공개됩니다. Okay. 그곳에서 여러분은 19개의 사냥터와 8개의 도시, 6개의 던전을 탐험할 수 있고 두 종의 아크 보스, 18종의 보스와 싸우게 됩니다. Okay. I mean that's pretty decent, I would say. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Asia Camelot did it back in the day. You had crafters that supported your keeps and made gear for people that went out and defended, did combat, etc. Yeah. Like, I just, I like the aesthetic of a person who's, like, maybe not very good at combat could still, like, have a role in a very serious good guild because they're a min-maxer with crafting or something like that. Like, I, I like the idea of that. That was, that's, it's a great aesthetic for, like, creating a more realistic world. 여기에 더해 여러분의 모험과 도전이 끊기지 않고 이어지도록 slaves, yes. 많은 계획을 준비 중입니다. 언제나 TL을 플레이할 때 Yeah, like I mean, I'll say this uh this one doesn't really look that good like the it just looks like it's kind of unfinished the textures. Um but like the outdoor textures like this, this looks incredible. Like this is great. I mean, yeah, this this is definitely this passes the vibe check. Uh is it very it's not like amazing in a way, right? I mean, it doesn't have like a, a really, really good like style to it, but it's good. It definitely passes the vibe check. I'm afraid of Amazon and microtransactions. You should be more afraid of the fact that it's made by NCSoft. Um, like in, in NCSoft is the one making this game. Uh, like Amazon probably will will pull some of this stuff back like they did with Lost Ark. Would he change class? 그동안 TL의 준비 과정에서 많은 분들이 전해 오신 궁금증들과 공업 내 의견 게시판을 통해 들려주신 조언들에 대해 자세히 답해 드리는 시간을 준비했습니다. Okay, comments. 더 빨리 이런 자리를 마련해서 했지만 정확한 답변과 시기를 조율하다 보니 여러분을 기다리게 만들어 드렸습니다. Mm -hmm. 오래도록 저희의 이야기를 기다려 주신 분들께 감사와 I don't give a fuck about how long the game takes. I'm going to be honest. I don't care. If the game takes an, uh, three years to come out, then that's fine. I will play something else until it's ready. I don't give a shit. Okay. Wow. All right. Okay. I respect it. This is a plus one to respect, I would say. Immediately addressing the elephant in the room. Or sorry, the whale in the room. So he respect to accountant. Today I would address his modification model. TL의 전체적인 BM 구성에 대해 말씀드리겠습니다. TL의 BM은 크게 네 가지입니다. 먼저 패스형 상품입니다. 캐릭터 성장에 따라 보상이 지급되는 성장 패스. Okay. 4주 단위의 특별 미션을 클리어하는 배틀 패스. So, so like 이두 가지가 
TL의 패스 모델입니다. 패스 상품을 구입하지 않아도 기본 보상인 무료 패스가 제공되지만 유료 구매를 할 경우 추가 보상을 얻게 되는 방식입니다. Okay. 패스 상품의 구성은 그게 꾸미기 목적의 코스... okay, so um, so... I am okay if you have a battle pass system if the game is being continuously developed because it functions as if it is a subscription to the game. I'm talking like a World of Warcraft subscription, a Final Fantasy subscription, the Lost Ark Crystalline Aura. I think uh, OSRS has some form of that. Uh, if you want a continuously developed game, you should expect to have to chip in regularly for that to happen. Uh, now, that, that's just all there is to it. If you don't want a continuously developed game, then no. Like, uh, like I don't know, Elden Ring. But if you want something that's continuously developed, you, you need to have it. You need to give them money, right? So, and, and I think as long as it's, as long as it's something that is uncapped, or sorry, is capped. The problem is like, so, let me actually just let them finish. I don't find this to be problematic yet. TL 배틀 패스만의 특징은 패스 달성 후에도 플레이어의 시간이 휘발되지 않는다. This is interesting. So like even after you finish the battle pass, you get more stuff. 한다는 점인데요. 패스를 완료하고 1일 yeah, 미션을 yeah, 초과 달성할 경우 okay. 포인트를 획득하게 되며 이 포인트는 특수한 추가 아이템과 items, okay. 교환할 수 있습니다. 즉 플레이하는 만큼 효과를 발휘하는 게 TL식 패스의 핵심이라 할수 있겠네요. That's probably a good idea because most battle passes after people finish them, they probably quit. 두 번째는 스킨 외형 상품입니다. Okay. 외형 상품은 플레이어가 착용 가능한 의류이며 능력치를 증가시키는 형태는 아닙니다. Okay. MMORPG에서 내 캐릭터의 외형이 가지는 중요성은 Yeah, as I said, I, I wish that they didn't sell cosmetics. Like, I, I wish you, you could just like look at somebody and like know if they're good or not. Like, I think this is a thing of the past. But uh, I'm sad about it because back in the day it was like really cool and wow. But like... You know, you saw somebody with like certain gear and like you knew exactly where they were from and everything. But I just think this is just, it's unfortunately gaming in 2023, right? Okay. 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 특정한 무늬를 삽입할 수 있으며 하나의 옷도 각각의 부위를 따로 커스텀할 수 있어 cool. 같은 옷도 착용자에 따라 전혀 다른 느낌을 표현할 수 있습니다. 리포마듯 코스튬을 사서 커스터마이징하는 모습이 TL만의 독특한 문화가 되길 바라고 있습니다. 세 번째는 거래소입니다. What's this? MMORPG의 특징 중 하나가 바로 자생하는 경제일 겁니다. 저희는 우리 게임의 경제가 플레이어 간의 생산과 교환에 의해 활성화되길 바랍니다. Mm -hmm. 유저 간의 교환은 거래소를 통해서 이루어지며 거래소의 화폐는 유료 화폐 루센트입니다. 거래소가 활발하게 oh, 돌아가야 that's, bro, that's 유저... so dumb. So like so they they have fions in the game? So you have to buy things in the on the auction house with fions? What the fuck? Oh my god, bro. Like Oh, not Fion's actual cash shop currency. If they have just like a cash shop currency, I don't really care about that. But if they're going to have Fion's in the game, then what'd you expect? It's a Korean game? Well, I don't care. It's straight to... Not Fion's, it's worth it's straight to cash. Wait, what? So, uh, basically, you can buy currency, premium currency, and then buy things off of the auction house. So that's even worse than Fiance. Yeah, 
I, I don't know. Maybe I'm not understanding this. That's just complete pay. To, yeah, it's totally pay to win, right? I mean, like, yeah, you can just buy gold. It's only premium currency allowed on the marketplace. Any player can farm the premium currency. It doesn't matter. Can you buy it? Because if you can buy it, then who gives a shit? You can't buy everything on the auction house? Yeah, but how much can you buy? Marketplace items are very limited. Alright, amatoids and morphs obtained via loot boxes. Who cares? Beta test U부터 줄곧 이어진 질문인데요. It's 자세한 설명을 위해서 언급된 두 시스템이 무엇인지 간략하게 설명을 드려야 할것 같습니다. 두 가지 모두 플레이를 위해 제공되는 기본 시스템들로 아미토이는 자일과 루팅을 전담하는. 조력자로 있고, 나선 TLC으로 해석한 탈컷의 변형입니다. 결론부터 말씀드리면 Inclusion. 아미토이와 야성 변신 모두 확정형 상품입니다. Oh, so 스킨처럼 okay, 외형적 가치에 비중을 둔 상품들이기 때문에 인 게임에서 습득 so 가능한 no 비판매용과 판매용과 성능 차이는 없습니다. Okay, so they're totally cosmetic. That's good. 아미토이와 야성 변신을 수집할 경우 개체가 많을수록 혜택이 늘어나는 수집 컨텐츠도 존재합니다. 바로 아미토이의 탁본집과 okay. 야성 변신의 수집 레벨인데요. 방법은 각자 상이하지만 like 이 게임에서 습득한 개체들만으로 달성 가능한 것이 공통적인 특징입니다. Okay. 여러분이 가장 귀여워하는 인형과 가장 멋있다고 여기는 야성의 모습으로 TL의 월드를 여행하시길 바랍니다. Was the Western market the reason for the changes? They're going to say no, right? Because this is for Koreans, and Koreans don't want to hear that Westerners are making them make changes to their game. Yeah, they're going to say no. 어, 게임의 변화에 직접적인 영향을 끼친 건 베타 테스트에 참여하셨던 테스터 분들의 의견이었습니다. Which by the way, like uh, being pay to win, like I play Lost Ark, it's pay to win as fuck. I play Honkai Star Rail, it's pay to win as fuck. Uh, I play World of Warcraft, it's pay to win as fuck. Um It's probably another one I play too. Uh that's also pay to win. So I I mean it's not that I wouldn't play the game because it's pay to win. The reason why people were unhappy about the game had nothing to do with pay to win. The game was bad. And this is what I think like a lot of people don't seem to understand is that people's complaints with games like this are completely centered around the quality of the game and the pay to win problem is like a secondary issue. Like in in uh BDO you can pay to win. Is that why people don't like the game? Not really, no. Star Rail was not pay to win. There's no win. You're competing with anyone, though. If you spend money in a game and you get an advantage because you're spending money, it's pay to win. Like, it's that simple. There's there's no fine print. 우리 게임을 플레이하셨던 분들의 의견에 큰 울림이 있었고 지금의 결정까지 오게 됐습니다. Advantage against who? Advantage against yourself whenever you didn't pay the money. Don't you ever think out conversations before you ask questions that are so obviously easily answered? Th think out what somebody's going to say before you just ask a dumb question. Players in North America are also looking forward to our game. Yep. 북미 플레이어들 역시 우리 게임을 기대하시는 분들이고 당연하게 그분들의 의견도 동참하고 well. 있습니다. 하지만 북미 지출만을 위해 자동 사양을 제공했다는 이야기는 확실하게 아니라고 말씀드릴 수 있습니다. Well, no, it wasn't because the the no, he's right. It had nothing to do with the North American realm. Everybody in Korea said this game was garbage. And in Seasoft, which is a South Korean company, their stock went down by like $10 or something. By, or 10%. I forgot which one it was. It was by like a massive fucking amount, man. Yeah, of course they're going to say that. I think that they expedited the experience by a lot. I'm so fucking tired of people being bringing nuance into pay to win mechanics like we need a fucking gradient. Any premium currency implemented like this, even if it's farmable, is bad. Pay to win doesn't bother me because I don't have the time to queue up with people in a not pay to win game anyway. I lose either way. Um, well, that's a great mindset. So this is the pay to win that I think is problematic, okay? And I've made this graph, th this thing before. Buy more, get more. This is where it's problematic. This pay to win 
is, in my opinion, completely fine. And in my opinion, also, it's necessary. Because if you don't have a way for people to buy a battle pass or buy a subscription and get money, you can't monetize your game at all. So you have to have this. This is the pay to win that's bad. And this is bad because a person who spends, like, let me just kind of make it simple from like a, uh, from like just a logical perspective. If you spend $15 in World of Warcraft Classic and somebody else spends $15 in World of Warcraft Classic, you are on the same even playing field, right? Assuming nobody's buying gold or anything like that. You're on the same even playing field. Everybody's playing on the same level. But here's the difference. It becomes problematic when the person who spends $15 is weaker than the person who spends $50. And the person who spends $50 is weaker than the person who spends $150. And the guy that's spending $150 is weaker than the guy that spends $1,000. And it just goes on and on up to like a scale of like, I don't know, $10,000, $20,000, right? That is what pay to win is. That, that is bad pay to win. That is, the st that is where I draw the line where, like, I will never value the integrity of a game that has that. Like, I, I literally do not give a shit about games that have that because you can just spend more money and you can just win more. It's that simple. Does Honkai have that? Functionally, yes. For, like, 99.9% .9 of people, yes, it does. Uh, everything, like, and, and you can easily say, well, everything has a limit. You can only spend $400,000. So, you, you basically, there, no, there's not really a limit, okay? I would say, like, $1,000. Like, how about this as a benchmark? If a person spends $1,000, do they have a disadvantage against a person who spends $2,000? Very simple. If that is true, the game has bad pay to win. It's that simple. Now, if you have to spend $50 or something like that of a battle pass over like a year or something, like you buy three battle passes, that's not a big deal because they need to make money to maintain the game. But what's bad is whenever you can just keep spending more money and keep getting more, pa more powerful. Uncapped pay to win is the problem. Having subscription services and minor things that you can buy, especially in a free-to-play game, I think is totally fair. How do you guys feel about that? Are you guys on the same page with me on this or what? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you guys see where I'm coming from. People defending shitty business ethics uh, and pay-to-win because without these pay-to-win elements, they would be garbage at games. Do you agree with this statement? No. Uh, Honkai and Genshin have pay-to-win that makes you pretty much infinitely more powerful, but the challenge is easily beatable with no investments and needs no investments to surpass. You can buy an advantage. Why are you making it more complicated? It's that simple. You can spend, like... Let me let me let you guys know something. My Jing Liu in Honkai Star Rail... Do you know what her critical strike damage is? 268%. I wonder how that happened. That's a lot. Yeah, that's bullshit. So, it is what it is, because I spent money on the game, and it made the game easier. That's it. 30 crit rate? Well, yeah, of course. Of course it's only 30% crit rate. Yeah. And that's bad. That's bad pay to win. That's the point, right? That, is it that stupid? It shouldn't happen. It should not exist. Previously told you, so leveling got massively nerfed, basically. Massively, massively fucking nerfed. And this is good, because this is the, in my opinion, there is like the auto 
it's like the autoplay paradox. If you need autoplay in the game, why is the content there to begin with? You see kind of what I'm saying? Like, why have content that you need autoplay for it in the first place? Why not just take out the autoplay, take out the boring content that people just bought, and just have the game exist without that entirely? Okay, so it takes 60 hours, 45 to 60 hours. 두 번째는 컨텐츠의 재배열입니다. 어, 후반부에 배치했던 아껴두었던 컨텐츠들을 초반부로 옮기는 작업을 진행하고 있습니다. 아시다시피 TL은 오랜 기간 개발해 온 게임이기 때문에 준비했던 컨텐츠들이 상당히 This guy's lying. Wait, you think he's lying? Why is he lying? Wait, why 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 you say he's lying? Did you play it? You just look at him, you know he's lying? <laughs> I mean, need I say more, right? <laughs> there it is. I played the tech alpha, autoplay was removed, but you still do the same thing manually, and it's a slog of gameplay. Great insight. Thanks a lot for that. Yeah. Uh, good to know. Very good to know. I believe you. Sure did? No, I, I, I know I do believe him. I'm not being... Uh, how are you able to change combat style in such a short period of time? 초기 개발 단계에서 전투는 개인의 액션에 초점이 맞춰진 자유로운 움직임이 가능한 화려한 전투였습니다. 하지만 그 전투는 많은 플레이어들이 모여서 플레이할 때 전략적인 그림을 만들어내기가 너무 어려웠습니다. 스포츠에서 한 팀으로 플레이할 수 없고 각자 개인 플레이만 하게 되는 그런 상황이라고 할까요? 그래서 방향성을 크게 전환해서 제약을 가하더라도 진영을 확실하게 구축할 수 있고 전략이 돋보이는 전투로 바꾸었습니다. 그게 지난 베타 테스트에서 플레이하신 버전이었고 I love that. That's the version that was available from our last beta test, and we all know how that turned out. Yeah, it was fucking garbage. I don't know why developers keep making these same stupid mistakes, where they focus on trying to make things more strategic and tactical and realistic while making the game worse. It's always a bad decision. New World did the same thing. Just stop doing this. 지금은 그두 가지 극단에 좀 중간점에 있습니다. Extremes, okay. 일반적인 경우였다면 테스트가 끝나고 전투의 방향을 갑자기 선회하는 게 불가능했겠지만. 아, uh, 기간... hold up, hold up. Normally we were not able to do it. Normally it would have been impossible to change our combat system right after testing. However, we were able to make fast changes due to underlying systems in place. Here, let me rephrase this. However, they were able to make fast changes due to the fact their stock went down massively. I guarantee you that this could have happened in any other game if the stock had gone down that much. They would have done it immediately. They couldn't do it, but they did it, yeah. Many types of raids, any difference between them? TL raid is PvPvE와 PvE로 나눌 수 있습니다. PvPvE는 오픈 필드에서 벌어지는 대다수의 레이드가 포함됩니다. Okay. 플레이어 다수가 함께 해야만 공략이 가능한 보스와의 전투는 물론이고 yeah, sure. 플레이어 간 견제도 신경 써야 하는 복합적인 전투를 경험할 수 있습니다. 각 지역의 상징과도 같은 필드 보스 레이드와 서버 단위의 mm -hmm. 플레이어가 모여야 하는 세계관 최강의 생물 아크 보스가 여기에 해당합니다. 반면에 PV 레이드는 서로 간의 견제 없이 보스에만 집중할 수 있습니다. Well, those are, I guess those must be the instances. Yeah, the guild raids are the instanced ones. Yeah, my Fortune 500 company told everyone we couldn't work from home for years because we couldn't support it. COVID hit, and everyone was working from home within a week. Yeah, keep in mind that every single thing that people say isn't possible 
is probably possible. It's always somehow possible. So classic mm-hmm. Yeah, the guild raid bosses are on guild the Guild raid and Oh, really? Wow. 한 가지 차이가 있다면 길드 레이드에서 드랍되는 보상은 거래소에 판매할 수 없고 유저에게 귀속되는 방식입니다. Oh, that's actually really big. So wait, does this mean you can buy gold from the store and then buy items that are raid gear from field bosses? Because that's what it means, right? How does it not mean that? Holy shit, guys. Hopefully I get sponsored to play this game. That way I can actually have fun. I'll just use the money and pay for all the good gear. 다양한 레이드의 구성은 필드에서 우위인 강대 길드가 좋은 보상을 Dominant guilds from monopolizing the best rewards. Okay, sure. 독식하는 걸 견제하고 상대적으로 약세인 길드도 안정적으로 성장할 수 있는 루트를 확보하게 합니다. TL에서 레이드는 대규모 콘텐츠의 중요한 한 축입니다. 그만큼 계속해서 보강해 나갈 예정이며 정말 재미있는 포지션을 기대하셔도 좋습니다. Okay. Who is the target audience? People with money. People with money that like buying gear on an auction house. 제가 생각한 우리 게임의 타겟층은 There's a there's a beautiful uh symbiotic relationship that exists between rice eaters and whales. That's basically what he's going to say. Yes, rice eaters and whales. The rice eaters farm for the whales. The whales eat the rice eaters. And then uh, the rice eaters carry the whales. And they kill the mobs for the whales. And then the whales buy the gear. Racist? Oh, of course it's racist. I'm a huge racist. Everybody knows that. Mm-hmm. I'm a fan of PC Okay. I well, just on targeted combat because people that play MMOs are old, slow, and stupid. And if you don't have targeted combat, they can't keep up. Simple answer there. I mean, action I that's strategy by action. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I believe targeted combat and slow combat are I, I, Yeah, I agree with that. 지금도 여러 가지 시도들을 하고 있습니다. 어, 기동성을 살릴 수 있는 다양한 이동 기술들, 전략적인 선택을 가능하게 yeah, 하는 상태 cool. 이상들, that's like BDO. 전투의 양상을 뒤집을 수 있는 방어 기술들, 그리고 선택지를 늘리는 무기 조합까지 mm-hmm. 기대 이상의 재밌는 전투를 보여드리겠습니다. The UI be improved. Yeah, the UI kind of sucks. They probably will improve the UI. 네, 수영하는 질문이네요. Yeah. Bro, I'm actually like, I have to respect like uh, that the fact that they just address shit directly. We're working on removing all elements that were criticized as being too mobile like. Yeah. There it is. Why is it releasing on PC? 저희가 만들고 싶었던 세계는 살아 숨 쉬는 듯 역동적인 변화가 있는 월드였습니다. 그것을 실현하기 위해서는 높은 난이도의 기술적 구현과 많은 컨텐츠 분량을 소화할 수 있는 플랫폼이 필요했습니다. 자연스럽게 답은 모바일이 아닌 PC로 귀결되었습니다. 모바일의 보편성에 기대어 더큰 흥행을 노릴 수 있다는 건 알았지만 yeah, 원하는 콜러트를 위해 양보하지 말자는 마음이 개발진 모두에 공감되었습니다. 물론 편의적인 부분에서 모바일을 활용하려는 계획이 있었지만 아시는 바와 같이 베타 테스트 이후 모두 폐지했습니다. 
Yeah, so, I'm okay with like a mobile app to like use an auction house or to like interface with like guild chat or something like that. I think that's totally fine. Like WoW had that for a long time and it was okay. Um, I'd be lying if I, bro, like this is too real. I'd be lying if I said that auto hunting wasn't a consideration for mobile devices. Yeah, there it is. I bet. I just got, yeah. This choice fundamentally affected our game. 지금은 초심으로 돌아가서 다시 바로 잡고 있습니다. 지난 테스트가 유저분들이 원하는 PC MMORPG라는 것이 어떤 것인지 mm -hmm. 다시 깊게 고민하게 된 계기도 되었습니다. Like I don't know, it's like weird because like some of their answers are, it seems like they're so authentic and like there's like a lot of integrity behind them and then other answers are just like total bullshit, right? Where like you can so you can buy gear from field bosses with a premium currency on the marketplace like what the fuck so you can just buy gear the fuck is this yeah what is this it's, it's just like why like the game made for you bro i just the thing is it's not fun to buy the gear it's fun to manipulate and exploit the game and get the gear unfairly. Like, I don't like cheating. I like exploiting. Okay? I hate cheaters. It's about doing something that you're not supposed to do that's not necessarily against the rules and getting away with it. That's the fun thing. I'll give you an example. My character is level 200 and something in Starfield. I didn't farm those levels out by killing mobs. I exploited, but I didn't cheat. I didn't use any console commands. Yes, white collar crime only. Exactly. Yeah, we don't want to have any serious, you know, felonies. All we're doing is we're just doing a little bit of tax fraud. Just a little bit, you know, just a, maybe just a bit of embezzlement like maybe just oh just just cheating just oh just to maybe just exploit the system just a tiny bit misrepresent things just a bit right but that's it it's not really cheating it's more just exploiting but was it illegal no because i didn't get banned i love exploiting i hate cheating Oh, I read that like uh, there were like power companies that tried to pay senators to say that we shouldn't build windmills to generate electricity because they'll kill birds and it'll affect like the ecosystem. Like, I don't know if this is really true or not, but like knowing, you know, like I, I feel like it probably is true. Yeah, I feel like that's probably true, right? They took kill a lot of birds? Like how many? Like 50? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know if that's true or not, but I feel like it's probably true, right? I feel like it's probably true, right? I feel like it's probably true, right? 최대 12개의 서버들이 영지를 차지하기 위해 다투게 될 텐데요. 길드의 상위 단계인 길드 연합체 간의 전쟁을 드라코에서부터 경험하시게 될 겁니다. Oh my god. 큼지막한 컨텐츠들 위주로 소개 드렸지만 지역이 오픈될 때마다 새로운 보스와 지역 이벤트, 전명 오브젝트들을 만나실 수 있고 그 외에 이게 추가와 생활 컨텐츠 보강도 준비 중입니다. Yeah, new weapons are important. That way you can you can have more ways for the whales to buy to buy new weapons. Very important. 입니다. 여러분의 플레이가 고이지 않고 계속 흘러갈 수 있도록 노력하겠습니다. Whale Wars, yeah. When will it be released? Okay, let's see it.
지금 시점에서 가장 중요한 말씀이겠네요. All, okay. 스론 앤 리버티는 12월 7일 런칭합니다. 오늘부터 사전 예약이 시작됩니다. 많은 참여를 부탁드립니다. 다가오는 지스타에서는 주요 콘텐츠를 보여드릴 수 있는 무대를 준비 중입니다. Do you think people would have live reacted and watched Pearl Harbor happening if it happened today and like Twitch streamers were able to live react to it? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Hassan would have? No, he d no. Bro, didn't you see the interview? He doesn't react to breaking news. Guys, he doesn't do that. What's wrong with you, bro? Like, you're gonna, you're gonna make that shit up about him? He literally said he doesn't do that. Plan to showcase core content. And, and this is also, by the way, this is for fucking, uh, just Korea, right? It's not for, uh, it's not for America? 현장에서 게임의 완성도와 yeah, 박진감을 yeah. 느끼게 okay, 되실 yeah, 겁니다. Whatever. 물론 게임이 런칭됐다고 다 끝은 아닙니다. 게임 내적으로는 더 well, 훌륭한 게임이 되기 game 위해 yeah, 개발에 매진할 것이고 게임 외적으로도 풀어가야 할 과정들이 있다는 걸잘 알고 있습니다. Okay. 회피하지 않고 숨김 없이 여러분과 함께 헤쳐나가겠습니다. I think they've done a pretty good job about being very transparent about the game. Like, regardless of whether you agree with the answers or not, I think they've been extremely transparent about what is and is not in the game. Like, and I'll definitely give them, like, credit for that. Absolutely. 지금처럼 여러분의 의견을 함께 나누는 시간도 더 늘려가겠습니다. 조금 더 연습해서 카메라에 익숙해지면 라이브도 도전해보겠습니다. Yeah, he's not ready to do a live, live broadcast. Yeah, he probably saw, he's like, oh man, I saw that thing with those Lost Ark guys. Like, oh, fuck that. Like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Alright. I think that was relatively fair. Sure. Oh, shit, this is the new trailer. Alright, let's see it. Emergency meeting, the three bozos, yeah. Uh oh. I love how I just say the word Hassan, everybody puts in their opinion about him. Like somebody asked. Okay. a magic word yeah This is actually pretty good. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, this is cool. Oh, that's the thing we saw earlier. That's really cool. Gameplay? Oh, it's definitely not gameplay, but I don't really give a shit about that. It's still cool. Yeah, the trailer is still cool. Nice. was decent enough i mean yeah it took a quite a while to get through everything uh but yeah i would say most of the answers and everything were pretty transparent 
I'll be honest though, like with this stuff, talking about monetization and everything, uh, I mean, let's be real. That's like, I, I, I feel like the only part about this that made me really uneasy was the fact that they had premium currency that you could use on the marketplace. Being able to have a battle pass, who gives a shit about that? I don't care about that at all. But being able to have like premium currency that you can buy things and like things that are like very meaningful like i do well if you care about a battle pass then you're being unreasonable and you shouldn't you don't deserve to be accommodated because you're just being stupid like i i get that you might not like something but not every opinion is created equal it's just a stupid opinion anyway the point is that that's the thing that i don't like is being able to buy stuff on the marketplace with real money. I'll give you guys the link to the video there. Everything else seemed pretty good. I'll be honest. But it's like, if people can just buy gear, then I think that kind of just, like, messes everything else up. No, just because you like something doesn't mean mine's stupid. Subs are the only fair monetization. Battle passes suck ass. Have... Subs are the only fair monetization. Battle passes suck ass. Let me ask you something. What do you think the difference is between the two? What's the difference? Battle passes are on top of mandatory subs? This game doesn't have a mandatory sub. So what do you think about battle passes in this game? Maybe he's got a good point. Maybe he'll have a good point. Surely he'll have a good point, guys. If it doesn't have a sub, then it's fine. Oh, okay. So then battle passes are fine. Okay. Yeah, all right. I think best in games besides battle passes, you only buy cosmetics, you want in-game gold, you just sell the cosmetics for gold. Anytime that you can buy and sell gold. So, a game, battle passes are primarily FOMO, enforcing players to do content with a timer in mind, subs do not. Why do you make an argument that doesn't make sense? Why do you say something without even thinking about what the person is going to say after you say what you say? Okay, so there's seasons in World of Warcraft. If you don't sub during those seasons, don't those seasons have FOMO that you play? And if you don't play during those seasons, you don't get those items? So effectively, the season's FOMO that exists in the game organically functions as the same as a reward for a battle pass? The same as the trading post? The trading post literally is a battle pass. Like, please, if you're going to make an argument, think at least one step ahead. Just one step. That's all I'm asking. Then make such a sip, like, such a transparently stupid argument. In the MMO, yes. Well, yeah, of course it is. So, okay, so then, so then you agree with me. Well, I'm not talking about every single game. Why would I talk about every game? We're not talking about every game. We're talking about this game. Not every MMO has seasons, though. Many MMO have many MMOs have seasonal events. I would almost say most MMOs have seasonal events. New World has seasonal events. World of Warcraft Classic has seasonal events. Final Fantasy XIV has seasonal events. There's one going on right now with Fall Guys. RuneScape has seasonal events. Lost Ark has seasonal events. You just Jesus. People just don't even think whenever they say things, huh? I'll link you guys the video. It's from Throne of Liberty official channel. Some people, they really don't. They don't even think at all, man. It's sad. But yeah, uh, this looks... Um, uh, the the, the buying, buying stuff on the store. Like So like my excitement for this game was like, let's say an 8.5. Hearing that you can buy gear on the store... It goes to a six. Yeah, it's like a six. That's what I would say. Battle Pass is based around FOMO. A sub-based game doesn't have to be based on FOMO. A Battle Pass, however, does. Doesn't have to. A Battle Pass doesn't have to fundamentally be... You just, you're making arguments that don't make sense. You're, you're creating an imaginary differentiation. Please stop trying to argue this with me. If you don't know what you're talking about. Please... People have, like, this irrational hate for battle passes, and they love subscriptions, even though they function as the same thing in most modern games. A lot of dumb chatters today. Again, the uh, battle pass Andes. 
anti-battle pass andes they're always the uh, the smartest gamers out there 